morning first at noon, three teens are in custody in connection to the murder of this 17-year-old. 17-year-old Roderick Sweeting was shot to death outside his Miami Gardens apartment complex while he walked home from school last week. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Miami Gardens with the very latest on today's arrests. Peter? Natalia, Miami Gardens Police tell us after an extensive investigation and help from the public, all three juveniles were identified and arrested at three different residences. The U.S. Marshals Task Force and ATF insisted, assisted in this investigation, and the victim's mother had told us she hoped this would happen. 17-year-old Roderick Sweeting lost his life last Tuesday. Police say he was walking home from high school with his 15-year-old brother when he was struck by a barrage of gunfire at Northwest 176th Street and 25th Avenue. It was the second time his mother, Tammy, has lost a child. A year ago, her oldest son died after being struck in the head by a bullet. Police have not said why Roderick Sweeting was killed. Baby got killed right out there. It's so close to home, but yet so far, I can't bear it. But he was just a sweet person, an angel that was just walking on this earth. He went home a flea. He went home a flea. He was very sweet. To know Roger is to love him. Sweeting was shot while walking home to the Oak Apartment Complex. Our news partner at the Miami Herald says he died as a result of an ongoing gang feud and the young suspects are all part of a gang known as the Cloverfield Boys. Now, Miami Gardens Police tell us all three juveniles have been charged with both first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. We'll have more on them later tonight on CBS 4 News. In the meantime, police say anyone with additional information about this case should call them. We're live in Miami Gardens, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.